everyone, it's Catalia. Today I'm going to show you how to do your very own DIY bioactive terrarium for reptiles or amphibians. The first step is to make some type of drainage layer. I accomplished this with some hydroponic clay. You layer it across the bottom and if any excess moisture falls through, this will soak it up and keep your terrarium nice and humid. And then here I'm just spreading it all out. In order for this to work properly, you have to have some type of drain mesh to keep your substrate from mixing with your drainage layer. And now I'm just taking a cocoa fiber brick and getting it all prepped and ready to put in the tank. It softens up to this real nice consistency, almost like dirt. And now I'm just going to place it on top of the screen, getting it nice and thick. And voila! Here we have our basic substrate layers. Now, you can get a lot of different live plants to put in your terrarium. Here I have quite a few, and I will link a list of reptile-safe plants to put in your terrariums below. And here we have plant number one called Mass Cane, which is expected to grow pretty large, so I'll have to cut it down eventually. And plant number two. Plant number three. Number four. Number five. Now this next step is to put a leaf litter across your substrate. Um, this helps to feed your isopods and springtails as the leaves decay, and it also keeps your reptiles or amphibians from getting their feet all muddy. And now I'm adding some pillow moss, which just helps to keep the humidity up and adds a nice touch. And here's just a basic overview of what we have so far. I will be adding some more things later for them to hide in. But I'd say it looks pretty good so far. And now I'm going to add some fake plants to help uh, with some more hiding places for my geckos. And I'm going to be putting in a food and water dish on the floor of the terrarium. And I'm also putting a ledge that they can eat on. Every terrarium needs a thermometer as well as a hydrometer. And some moss for humidity. Last but not least, you place your tank cleaners in your tank. I am starting out with some springtails. They'll eat up all of your reptile and amphibian feces and they will keep your tank clean and cycled. Now for the fun part. Introduce your gecko or amphibian into their brand new enclosure. This is Mushu. She is a gargoyle gecko. And it looks awesome! Thanks for watching, you guys. Ask any questions you have down below. Uh, if you remember, I'm going to VidCon. I think it's the 23rd through the 25th. So, less than a month away. Save the moth.